What's going on there? It's pretty small. Let's see how these go. Now obviously mine's gonna have a little bit more of an advantage I think with the 3S, but Ahmed's um, Hosom has got much better shocks. These shocks are really bouncy. They're supposed to be oil filled, which they kind of are. They've got oil in them, but they don't actually have any pistons inside the shocks. So I normally would have swapped the shocks out, but today we're doing a uh, stock standard test. And yeah, as you can see, <laughs> the Hosom's much better. This thing's so bouncy. <laughs> but it'll be a good little comparison, I guess. Yeah, steering's, steering's no good. Yeah. <laughs> Won't go straight. Uh -huh. Looks nice and smooth, though. Nice, very nice shocks. Good power on 2S. <laughs> yeah guys the problem with the Yanozzi is the differentials they've got a hole in them so you can't actually get diff oil to stay in there Whoa, hey that was nice the shocks are really good on that car man kind of doable so smooth <laughs> <laughs> Having a real hard time. Nice. Oh, bit of a rough landing. <laughs> We've done nothing to the differentials, nothing to the shocks. So yeah, they are 100% out of the box stock standard. The thing I worry about most of the time when I get these cheaper cars is the differentials. If the steel isn't substantial, is it, if it's not proper like hardened steel or something, they don't really last long. But uh, some of the cheaper brands are definitely getting on top of that. Oh, that's right. I forgot about the little delay in this speed control. Definitely got a bit more power there though. I really like the look of this chuggy shell. Oh, <laughs> it's got a lot of power on that 3S uh, lithium ion. Nice. Oh, I can't keep it straight. <laughs> Mine's a little faster. That's pretty good for 2S, man. Nice. Oh, a bit of a dip out there. <laughs> oh. Nasty nose landing that one. Oh, I couldn't, I couldn't pull out of that. Just wanted to nose dive. 
<laughs> yeah, it looks like yours could use a bit of diff work as well. Yeah. And a 3S factory. And a 3S, you need more power. <laughs> Nice, you'll be able to do front flips. Yeah, I think the battery's done already. Too. Yeah. yeah. I'm surprised my little lithium ion's still going. I'm usually the first to, to run out of battery. Push it till it breaks. That was a nice smooth front flip. Try one more big one. If I can line it up. Nice, it wasn't really big, but I lined it up. <laughs> All right, do you wanna have a quick go at that? <laughs> See what the difference is? Now you will notice a delay in the throttle. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> but it's probably a little bit easier to line the jump up, although, not having differential oil in the diffs, yeah. it does yeah, still. It's much better in this. The steering's much better, yeah. yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's going slow motion. <laughs> Oh no. Oh! Have we got no throttle? Oh, was that just a cut, was it? Yeah. All right, there we go. So, I am mean, smashed into himself on a low voltage, guys. <laughs> nah, they're both great little cars. Much uh, stronger, much more capable than I guess both of us kind of realize. Oh, except, yep, there we go, guys. Again, the oil is just leaking profusely out the shocks. They're filthy. Gonna have to get them swapped out for oil filled shocks again. Something more like Ahmed's got on the on the Hosum. The whole car, that Hosum car seems pretty good. It's just that steering. Steering, yeah. It's a little bit hard to see in there, but the, the servo saver itself yeah, just it's needs a stiffer good. spring or a couple of washers in there to make it stiffer, and that'll yeah. be much better. Mm. Ahmed was just lucky to get this one cheap, but from most places they're around about $260, $280. These, I've been getting them for around about $130 Australian dollars but I believe they are like 240, 250 elsewhere as well. So it all depends where you're looking. 